Good morning. We want to welcome you this morning to a message from Evergreen. My name is Reverend David Moore. Me and my associate brothers are here this morning to worship and give praise to our high God. Amen. We ask that you pray with us this morning. Enjoy this message. Pray for the preacher. Amen. Let us begin this week in the Lord as we entered it in the Lord. I'll begin with a Old Testament scripture and we'll move into our service. This morning our Old Testament scripture is taken from the 20th chapter of Proverbs beginning at verse 5. I'm going to read from the message version. It begins, it says, knowing what is right is like deep water in the heart. A wise person draws from the well within. Lots of people claim to be loyal and loving, but where on earth can you find one? God loyal people living honest lives make it much easier for their children. Leaders who know their business and care keep a sharp eye out for the shoddy and cheap. For who among us can be trusted to always be diligent and honest? This is our word from the Old Testament. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers, the readers, and the doers of his holy word. Good morning. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm a son of the house, and I will be reading from the New Testament. From 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter beginning with the 12th verse. 1 Corinthians 12th chapter, the 12th verse. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of one of that one body yes. be many are one body, so also is Christ. Yes. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Yes whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, yes. and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members every one of them in the body as it hath pleased him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his holy word. Good morning to each of you. I greet you from the Evergreen Baptist Church this morning. Thanking God for another opportunity to come before you today yeah. with words of wisdom, words that might feed you throughout the past of the week. Yeah. So I ask you to bow your heads and pray along with us as we pray this morning. God, our Father, we thank you again for another day's journey. Yes, Lord. We, we know this is the day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Someone said, I will glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is none other than the house of the Lord. Yeah. Lord, we are so thankful that you brought us here another week's journey. Yes. Another Sunday morning, we come in to worship and praise you. Yes. Because you tell us when praises goes up, we yes. believe yes. blessing will come down. And we know that those of you who are tuning in right now, we know that you stand in need of a blessing. Yes. Yes. And only God can give. Yes. And yes. we pray that yes. you pray along with us for the preacher of the hour. Yes. Uh, that he'll bring words of encouragement, words of joy, words yes. of deliverance to you today. That your soul might be filled with goodness of the Lord. Yes, Lord. So Lord, I pray that you just be uh, what who you are. 
You're God above every God. Yes. You are Savior, you are Lord, and we, we pray right now, Lord, as we pray that we know someone standing in the need of a blessing. Yes. yes. Someone prayed all night long. Yes. Somebody yes. weary. Someone lost a loved one, but you know you save them. Yes. We know that you're a doctor in a sick room, and we know that you are a healer. And we ask you to touch now those who are not yes. healing and blessing this morning, those who are sick and shut in, those who are bereaved this morning. We pray that you deliver them. Yes. Lord, Lord, just not only for our city, our home, but we pray for our nation. Yes. We pray for our world as a whole. Yes. Because you are God of everything. Yes. And besides you, there's none other. So, Lord, we ask you to bless the man of God who will come now. Yes. And bring words of joy this morning. Help deliver your peoples who are in sickness and sorrow. But Lord, my prayer is that you be with us today. That you bless each home that represented here today. Be that for them they need, because yes. someone needs you today, Lord. Yes. And we need you right now. Yes. So, Lord, I close this prayer out that you'll be with us, you guide us. And you know, we're not a shepherd at this time. We pray that you keep us together. Yes. You yes. keep us on yes. one accord. Yes. That all we do, that you'll get the glory at our coming. So, bless yes. us now. Yes. Keep us with our prayers in Jesus' name. We Jesus. pray. Amen. Amen. chapter 5th verse and I'm going to be long before you it reads thus a sower went out to sow his seed uh -huh. and as he sowed some fell by the wayside yes. mm -hmm. and it was trodden down mm -hmm. yes. and the fowls of the air devoured it yes. 
and some fell upon a rock. A rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away it withered because away. it lacked uh -huh. yeah. moisture. Lack moisture. And some fell among thorns. Yeah. And the thorns sprang up with it mm -hmm. and choked it. Choked it. Mm -hmm. And other seed fell on good ground. The good ground. Yeah. And sprang up and bare fruit. Mm -hmm. And hundredfold. Yeah. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears, let him hear. Yeah. Let him hear. Then if you will turn with me to St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, mm -hmm. huh? where Jesus. Jesus' his disciples questioned him about a parable mm -hmm. of the tares in verse 37. Right. Matthew 13, verse 37. 37. Mm -hmm. And I'll conclude with this. Matthew 13, verse 37, where Jesus was asked a question by his disciples about the tares, mm -hmm. how they should grow together with the, on the good ground. And Jesus answered them and said unto them, he that soweth the good seed yes. is the son of man. Mm -hmm. The field is the world. Yes. Right? The good seed are the children of the kingdom. Yes. Right. Now within this short frame of time, to you, my other green family, and those of you that have decided to join us by way of Facebook, yes. I want to share with you the thoughts about these three seed sowers in my life mm -hmm. and in the life of the church. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Yeah. And if you are looking for a title or a, a subject that I might preach from, I come on. Guess I could only use this. These three seed sowers. Yeah. Huh. Seed sowers. That's good. These That's three seed sowers. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now it's very seldom that I come before the body of Christ by way of this altar or this pulpit. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, the Bible says in Romans 11, for the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Yes. All right, all right. And somewhere in the Bible says that your gifts will make room for you. Yes, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't mind me saying, sometimes I feel like my gifts are best served behind the counter. Of the Oscar Wakeman's clothes is stuck. That's it right there. Y'all must have forgotten. Y'all know me by now. I'm going to get a shameless plug in anyway. 6219 Shattuck Avenue. <laughs> All right. Glory yeah. be to God. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. Yeah. Preach, man. The Bible. So here we are at the close of another year. Yeah. And with many challenges and <laughs> many changes. Yeah. That has taken place in our lives. Uh -huh. That's right. So praise be to God. Mm hmm. But we still look unto Jesus. Yeah. Unto Jesus. The author and the finisher yes, of our faith. That's good. Man. You know, there's a familiar passage of scripture found in Timothy, the first chapter, where Paul recalls the faith that dwells in a young Timothy. And how it first how it first had to be birthed in his grandmother Lois. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And then birth that seed birthed into his mother Eunice. Yes. Uh, so that the transference of faith that seed can dwell richly in young Timothy. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. This, is, this exemplifies how the seed of faith dwells in us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So therefore, Evergreen, can I talk to Evergreen just for talk a minute? Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Evergreen, like Paul writing to Timothy, never forget the seed of faith. Yeah. Yeah. The transference of that seed given to you by those who have gone on before us. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Paul says to stir up the gift yeah. that is within you and to show, yourself, show forth the goodness and mercy of God but through his saving grace and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yes, he did. Verse 12 of Genesis 1 says, And the earth brought forth grass and her yielding seed after its own kind. Yeah. And the tree yielding fruit whose seed is in itself after its own kind. Yeah. And God saw that it was good. Yeah. The Bible says, for we have this hidden treasure in earth and vessels, earth and vessels. that the excellency of the power of God yeah. may be of God and not of us, we yeah. ourselves. The sower went out to sow his seed. Uh -huh. 
out of the trunk of his car. Now you right, know, right. go with me on this. Right. In the form of a portable pulpit with the hopes of someday in God's own time, he, speaking of Reverend Dr. Pastor J.L. Richard, who would find a permanent place to lay down a foundation for uh -huh. his church. Uh -huh. I'm told by the second seed so that he shared watermelon for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh -huh. I'm talking to Evergreen right now. Right. Help me, Holy Ghost. Right. In my sanctified imagination, exactly. I can see the seeds from the watermelon springing up from the ground in the form of a mother, Teresa King. All right. Right. Glory be to God. Yes, Who on the 27th of July, 1947, yes, gave us the name Evergreen yes. Missionary Baptist Church. Yes. Now, I know churches, I've been in church all my life. I know churches take on names like St. Luke, St. Paul, Ebenezer, uh -huh. New Jerusalem, uh -huh. yeah. but Evergreen. Yeah. Evergreen. Yeah. Evergreen was an amazement to me because Evergreen, even when Sister King came up with the idea, she wanted to know that the church would live on, that it would always remain green. Yeah. That there would always be life to yeah. be found yeah. in the Evergreen Baptist Church. Yeah. Glory be to God. From the birth of the church, seeds sprung up in the form of a charter member's membership, like Priscilla Holman, yes, yeah. Lucille McCarthy, yes, yeah. Marjorie Bailey, yes, yeah. yeah. Albert Marshall, yes, yeah. yeah. Julia Roy yeah. Williams, yeah. Esther, yeah. and Clifton Richards, yes, yeah. yeah. Wilma Franklin, yes, yeah. Ada Brown, mm -hmm. yeah. Marjorie Montgomery, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mary McGraw. Yeah. I'm just giving you seeds that the seed sowers had seeds. sown. Yes. 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 That's good. A tree bearing fruit after its own kind. Mm -hmm. Cynthia Shannon. Yes. Luke Hearn. Yes. yes. John Bradshaw. Mm -hmm. And to this day, still with us. Yes. Born in Evergreen Baptist Church. Yes. yes. Brother Lehman Brown. Yes. 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 One seed sower by the name of Dr. J.L. Richard. Yes. Yes. So sees the greatness into a church that stands some 79 years later. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Even in the midst of a year full of turmoil and so many uncertainties, oh, no. losing our pastor, Bishop Frank Pinker Jr., yes. and not being able to assemble in a house of worship, yes. we still have hope still. and faith yes. in God. Yes. Yes. I'm almost out of time. Come on. One thing I learned about social media, uh -huh. that is, as quickly as you gain an audience, yeah. you can surely lose it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you about the second seed sower? Come on. Uh, we lost our founding pastor, Dr. J.R. Richard, on October 27, 1984. Yeah. And he left behind two projects the new pastor would have to complete. Yeah. He wanted an elevator for the senior citizens that they wouldn't have to climb those steep stairs in the front of the church. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also, he wanted the elevator built in the back of the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pastor Pinker fulfilled that. We also had in progress a senior citizen complex oh, by the name no. of Reverend the, the J. L. Richard Terry. Yeah. Uh -huh. That Pastor Pinker stepped in yeah. and had to complete that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And on April 9th, the pulpit committee at the Evergreen Baptist Church family called Reverend Dr. Frank Pinker Jr. Amen. The pastor. Yeah. The Evergreen Baptist Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pastor Pinker came with a zeal and a desire to continue mm -hmm. where Pastor Richards left yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Pinker completed those two projects and started the Nehemiah project. Uh -huh. yeah. He began to build a new Evergreen Church right on the parking lot. Yeah. I can remember him standing in his pulpit before the church was even built, saying that. One of these days, you go, the, the parking lot that I'm driving to is going to be the Evergreen Baptist Church. Yeah. Now, I thought it was a little crazy back then, but to this day, all that parking lot stands the new Evergreen Baptist Church, yeah. which was erected in July of, 20, of 2000, yeah. which means that makes the new church 20 year old, and we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Evergreen Baptist Church. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. So here's what I wanted to tell you uh -huh. in conclusion. So many seeds of greatness that I can't name all of them right. that came out of the Evergreen Baptist uh -huh. Church. Uh -huh. The members of Evergreen became a beacon of light to a dark world. Yeah. 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 In Hebrews, the 12th chapter says, Wherefore, Wherefore. seeing we are compassed about yes, with so great a cloud of witness, yes. and cannot call the roll. Call the roll. Mother LaMail. Uh -huh. yeah. Mother Irene Cooper. Yeah, that's right. Mother Myrtle May Marshall. Yeah, that's right. Mother Rose Mayfield. Yeah, that's right. Sister Ernestine Williams. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And she would say, if we go deal with this. <laughs> My godmother, Mother Homer Lee Tucker, who loved me one Sunday night when she sat, when I sat by her, and she didn't say not tomorrow might be too late, but she said this evening, right now, might be, might be too late. Might be too late. And I found myself getting up, joining the Evergreen Baptist Church. Yes. Came to Jesus as I was. Yes. Where the wounded and sick, yes. I found in him yes. a resting place. Rest and he has made me glad. Yes. I joined the choir under the leadership of the president, William Christmas. Uh -huh. yeah. And I can't forget re the recording secretary who took me in, Sister Lois Jean Chambers. Yeah. I was a part of the Young Adult Choir under President Geneva Harris uh -huh. and, president and Vice President Marvin Jefferson. I soon began to be president myself. I was surrounded by great men that nervous and the seed within me, yeah. uh -huh. Reverend John Allen McBride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what I call the Rat Pack of the Young Adult Choir, Brother Carl Donnell, mm -hmm. Dennis Woodford, mm -hmm. Marty Leggett, mm -hmm. Larry Atkins, mm -hmm. and including me. Mm -hmm. And then Harvey Knight, Brenda Knight's husband, which was, hung out with the choir, even though he didn't sing in the choir. Yeah. 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 We had a great, we had great lead singers like the Dietrich Atkins, uh -huh. Debbie Taylor McBride, Sister Lightbridge, Ernestine Franklin, mm -hmm. yeah. Mary Bowden, yeah. Catherine Christmas, yeah, yeah. James Scott, yeah. Jude Gilbert, yeah. Donald Faye, and, and the new ones are coming up, Felicia Curtis and Regina Alexander. I know I may have missed some, but all, right. all of those great singers yeah. had a, a, a radio ministry crew like uh, Tape Ministry by uh, Jake Thomas and, yeah. and uh, famous radio announcer James Burton. Burton yeah. Praise God. And uh, great deacons that helped me to become to grow, grow the seed within me, yeah. like a Richard Jefferson, a Deacon Jack, Jack, Jack Jackson, and Deacon Wilson, yeah. who stood tall for the Lord, yeah. and Sam Smith's dad, Samuel Smith Sr., and yeah. Brother Mayfield, yeah. and Deacon Henry Watkins, and Clifton Thomas. These are all great seeds that were birthed yeah. out yeah. of the Evergreen yeah. Baptist yeah. Church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Deacon Albert Brown, who became, later became uh, Reverend Brown. Yeah. Deacon Wallace Haynes, praise be to God, yeah. and Deacon. Yeah. Can't forget Brother Deacon LaRue, Amen. who would remind us of Prophet Checkett, where he and Pastor Richard grew up from. Mm -hmm. Preachers like Michael Moore and Wayne Johnson, going on to pastor, and Aaron Anderson, yeah. and Harold Pierre and Keith Williams, and uh, associate ministers like Bro Brother Arnett and P Preacher Heath and Bo Brooks and Long and Turner and Scott and Watkins, praise be to God, and Hemingway and Terrence Johnson. So many from one seed. Yeah. Let me hurry to a close, gentlemen. If I can tell you about this last seed, so last seed. Yeah. 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 man had been separated from God, and there was no one to bring man back mm -hmm. into the right relationship with God. Yeah. Uh -huh. But for the Son, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, yeah. but made of himself no reputation. Yeah. And took upon him the form of a servant. Yes. And was made in the likeness of men. Yes. And being found in the form of, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. Yes, he did. And became obedient unto death. Yes. Even the death of the cross. Yes. Wherefore, God has exalted him, highly mm -hmm. exalted him, uh -huh. and given him a name which is above every name. Yes. Yes. Amen. That at the name of Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall every confess. Tongue shall confess. That's right. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Christ, Christ the Lord. Yeah. to the glory of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So when life has beaten you down, tell him, tell him. and all 
has been broken in your life. COVID-19 has taken your loved ones. Friends have abandoned you. Look, you may have lost a job. May you even have lost your weight. But don't look to 45 or Biden to fix your problem. Look unto Jesus. And look unto the last seed sower. The one who can save you, yeah. can deliver you from out of all your troubles. Yeah. Yeah. Looking unto Jesus, yeah. the author, author. and author. the finisher yeah. of our faith. Yeah. God bless you and God keep you. Yeah. Amen. 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 All right, so. Amen and thank God. Yeah. We certainly want to thank uh, Reverend Randy Routing for that message. Uh, the sower yeah. and the seeds. Based on the uh, history of Evergreen Baptist Church, amen. amen. Uh, we had uh, pastors which came through and sold the word, uh, Bishop Pinker and J.O. Richards, and we see the fruition of it, amen. The church has certainly bear fruit, and we stand on this corner and bear and uh, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So now at this time, we want to extend the invitation to discipleship. There may be someone out there who doesn't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of his or her sin. The yes. mm -hmm. Bible says, while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for us, the ungodly. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in case you didn't know it, man is in need, and woman too, of a Savior. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And this is the message that we bring, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart yes. that God has raised him from the dead, yes. thou shalt be saved. Yes. For with the heart a uh, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Is there one of you mm -hmm. on this afternoon who would commit your life to Jesus Christ? He says, though your sins be as scarlet, yes, Christ's blood will wash them whiter than snow. Yes. And if he saved me, I know that he will save you also. Yes, yes. So we pray that you will keep that in mind, and we admonish you to just uh, get into any uh, sound doctrine, Bible, teaching, church, yes. if you uh, made that decision for Jesus Christ. All you have to do is say, uh, repeat this prayer, Lord, I acknowledge I'm a sinner, I'm in need of your grace, and would you please come into my heart and save me yes. and join a good, solid Bible teaching church. Should you decide to be a part of Evergreen Baptist Church, right. amen, 408 West MacArthur Boulevard uh -huh. uh, in Oakland, yeah. uh, you can call on Monday, 510-654-2976. Call on tomorrow, 510-654-2976. And leave a detailed message, and we will promptly return your call. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And before we dismiss, uh, I just want to acknowledge uh, uh, we do have bereaved in the house of Evergreen. Amen. Our sister Bowler uh, lost a couple of relatives back home in Arkansas. Uh, Brother Cook uh, lost a relative. And Sister Alexander also. Mm -hmm. And if I missed anyone today, uh, please let us remember to keep our bereaved yes. and our prayers. Yes. Let us keep our sick list mm -hmm. and our prayer list mm -hmm. in our prayers. And let us keep evergreen yes. in our prayers. Yes. Yes. Amen. And God bless you. Praise the Lord. 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 God is still good. Uh -huh. God is still blessing. I, I just want to thank you all for indulging me while I try to bring that little message, yes. bring you the history of the Evergreen Baptist Church, let you know that 79 years in 2021 mm -hmm. will be 80 years old. Yes. Glory be to God. All right. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I'm appreciative of all that the church has done for me and the yeah. 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 seed that has been planted within me. Yeah. 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 Good seed. We're going to end up on the benediction, but I just want to say this one thing before I come to Samuel closing. Yeah, my son, Michael Rowley, was the one that designed this vest. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. 
using these mediums to get the word out. If I could preach as good as I could sow, yeah. <laughs> I'd be a bad member. <laughs> well, glory be to God. And this was created right within the Outer Way Men's Club Store, 621977. Gonna, I'm going to use this medium the best way I can. Back to all the business. Let us dismiss. Father God, with every head bowed and every head, we come yes. with gratitude and thanksgiving. Yes. Thank yes. you for allowing this your humble servant to stand before us, the membership of every Baptist church, and those that are listening through Facebook, to let them know that you are still a, a living God, that, yes. that you yes. still work the miracles, you still do the things that you do within our lives, to keep us, to yes. save us, to watch over us in the churches. Now as we depart from this place, and not from the sight, make our home home to love, home to joy, and home to peace. Watch over us and protect us from this day forward, even as we go into the voting polls to vote for this time. Touch every heart and touch every mind. Give us grace, traveling grace from this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And all God's people said amen. 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 God bless you and have peace. Amen. Are you ready?